Hello my friends from the earth. How are you? Hope you are doing well and I am back again with Dev Diary. So uh, today I thought of discussing about uh, creating custom assertions using assertj. I have done an earlier tutorial on uh, assertj introduction kind of thing. Uh, now this time I am trying to uh, create custom assertions. Uh, I have created a sample project actually uh, uh, with a package and uh, it has some uh, pojos and uh, full time enums and transmission enum like those things uh, i have already prepared this one uh, for some kind of flow so we can understand uh, things we can uh, do with this uh, how can i say uh, custom assertions so uh, let's start uh, this is my uh, uh, test class uh, where i am going to write my old test and uh, i need uh, another class uh, which is a uh, uh, custom assertion uh, cl class uh, where uh, we put all the custom assertion uh, helper methods and things so let's create that first I'm going to create a class I'm going to name it as Kyle uh, set like this and after creating this one I need to make this uh, I need to provide the uh, how can I say features of uh, assertions through this for this one uh, I need to provide extends and abstract asset abstract asset from asset j core api and uh, with this uh, we need to provide two uh, parameters actually two generic types first one is self uh, it will be car asset this one and second one will be my car object uh, this is the object I am going to try out with this assertion so we need to create that one as well here I am getting an error now uh, it needs to create a uh, constructor uh, if I create a constructor like this uh, it is asking for a self type in this way uh, we will have to uh, provide a class type uh, this will be a kind of a generic one but I don't want to have this kind of thing uh, instead of this I need car asset dot class like this so it's almost same uh, without much changes so there is no errors because of that we have provided a class and after that I need to create a uh, how can I say the asset method assert that if you are familiar with asset j we need to uh, have some initial starting point uh, which is asset that uh, where we put our actual object so let me create this first okay uh, public static and uh, asset assert that for asset that I need uh, car object uh, which is actual and after that I need to uh, initialize uh, my constructor with a new object like this and uh, actual yeah. right like this now you can see I have created this one now we can provide our uh, car objects which, which need to be tested through this assert that method after that I need to uh, create some helper methods uh, where the my uh, tests are based on like uh, has manual and uh, is a super car or uh, transmission type kind of as I mentioned and otherwise uh, is latest car or not depending on on some kind of conditions we don't know what are they but there can be different kind of conditions because based on your business scenario it it can be different for uh, someone else to another person but uh, we can uh, define it as the way we want because uh, this is not a public thing uh, it is uh, tightly coupled onto your business so uh, as I start I want to uh, uh, write some kind of test like uh, uh, if I say uh, is supercar kind of thing and uh, car asset public car asset is super car and uh, I'm going to check is not null because uh, if the given object is null we can't perform this uh, operation uh, is not null is uh, coming from asset j uh, uh, just to make sure we are in safe zone to proceed and uh, I'm going to check if uh, actual dot uh, get seat count uh, greater than 2 because uh, uh, 
i don't know much about uh, supercar uh, definitions but uh, when i'm searching on internet i got uh, most supercars as uh, two seats so that is that is what i'm going to be uh, used in this right if uh, my supercar is has supercar has is, is the given car actually if the given car has uh, more than two seats i'm going to fail out this one fail with message right uh, the message will be uh, expected to be a super car but has okay there may be cases with uh, one seat as well uh, is there one seat cast okay fine and uh, actual dot get seat count okay i was confused with some javascript stuff and yeah it is like that and uh, i need to return uh, this because uh, we always need to return as a class it, it is the only way we can chain the uh, how can i say helper methods uh, and so i, uh, I can uh, add, add some other things right uh, get miles per sec gallon miles per gallon uh, greater than 22 uh, that is also a fact I have taken from internet I don't know uh, if this is correct or not so expected to have okay let's go with simple like this and uh, actual dot get uh, how yeah, yeah miles per gallon yeah like that so now we have prepared our first assert method now I'm going to use this one in my test like this and uh, I'm going to create public void uh, test uh, e super car and uh, I have used uh, test ng because of that I can use these annotations here and I am going to uh, create a car object here quickly yeah oh what is this this is not my car yeah like that and uh, set my per gallon uh, 44.0 for now and uh, car dot seat count to uh two okay now uh now what we need to do is uh we need to import our uh, car asset uh, uh, helper methods into this one for this one i'm going to try out like this i said that and uh, car like that uh, but i want to have some uh, static imports just to make things clear like this and now we are good to go yeah like that so car is super car you can see my our e super car method is available here if i run this test what do you think will it pass or fail actually uh, supposed to be fail uh, because uh, miles per gallon is over than that so this is not a super car and you can see uh, the uh, message we have uh, given they are expected to have 24 22 miles per gallon but it has 44 so that is the message we are getting uh, the customized message based on your business and uh, if i uh, change this to 14 and increase this to 4 just to make sure our another if block is executed properly uh, yes uh, just give some time to execute and uh, then you can see yeah test is failed actually it has uh, four seats yeah and uh, as the next thing uh, is manual right okay uh, is spelling yeah it's spelling correct and is manual uh, i'm going to try out whether the given car is manual or not and i'm going to copy this part okay i i could have typed that as well right set for uh, transmission okay and uh, 
I'm going to make this automatic for now and uh, as a that car we haven't created the helper method yet and uh, I'm going to create this one quickly public uh, car asset uh, is manual like this and uh, we need to check uh, whether the given object is null or not otherwise we cannot proceed as I have mentioned earlier and uh, the next thing uh, actual dot get transmission dot equals uh, transmission manual actually we need to have some not here because uh, just should pass this should fail only when we don't have a manual Okay, we have enum we can get it here easily okay uh, no it's not that we need to get actual object because that is the value we are going to uh, use there and uh, we can use toy string here easily yeah, like that and then return this like we have done earlier and now now my is manual is there we can use it without any issues and uh, now if i uh, try out this test actually we know that test we will fail and uh, let's see yeah, test is failed and uh, expected to have a manual transmission uh, but has automatic and uh, let's see the, uh, the the test is passing because uh, we test all the time test is failing but we don't know it will pass or not let's see yeah test is passed so uh, this is the way we can uh, test out the existing object but uh, what if we want to uh, how can i say what if we want to uh, compare with the existing object uh, like uh, i have same manufacture yeah like this We need to use this one as well. Asset. When we get a car object here, or maybe expected. It's not null. And uh, if we need some kind of if here, like uh, oh, what are my spelling things are going wrong sorry for that and get uh, manufactured here equals expected dot get manufactured here uh, the test uh, supposed to be failed if not failed with message uh, Same manufacturer, but has uh, let's use that like that, then it will be uh, understandable, right? And now I need to provide uh, Actual dot get manufactured here like this and uh, expected dot get manufactured here like this. So let's make it more readable in this way like this and uh, yeah. Now you can see we have uh, provided the customized message and uh, now we can create it like that. let's say it is uh, 2015 and uh, we want to create a new object as well yeah. 
for now let's uh, keep it as uh, as a manufacturer here car one yeah now uh, let's see what will happen i need to provide test annotation if not i cannot run this test like this and uh, yeah let's wait for some time one second yeah test is failed expected to be in the same manufacturer 2015 but has uh, 2016 so it is like that you know then um, uh, you can create custom assertions based on your preference actually based on your business case it is tightly coupled as i have mentioned but uh, it is really cool to have some kind of uh, thing like that because uh, it is customized for you and uh, no need to write uh, same test cases again and again because uh, it will be really hard to maintain that kind of large test cases uh, because in the in the business case we won't have small assertions like that we will have large assertions uh, for the complex objects in this case you will definitely need this uh, so think about uh, optimizing your unit tests always because unit tests are really important part in your coding uh, so that is why i thought of uh, doing this uh, kind of uh, small tutorial and uh, Try out this thing and let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your feedbacks and thoughts. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned with me. Subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed. See you again with another tutorial. Bye for now.